let's now see the essentials of contingent contracts now this first point is not the essential of a contingent contract it is rather a feature of contingent contract which is to say that the contingent contract is a valid contract this does not mean that contingent contract is valid when it is made it becomes valid depending on the event again just because it is dependent on some event that does not make it void that does not make it unenforceable it is valid you can always make conditional contracts you can always make contingent contract and they are valid con because contingent contracts have all the essential requirements of a valid contract and this makes them valid contracts next contingent contracts are always dependent upon happening or non happening of some event we've already discussed discuss this thing in length a contingent contract will always be dependent on some collateral event some event and the happening or non happening of this event will decide if the contract will happen or not so in short the main contract the contingent contract is dependent upon happening or non happening of the event the event is incidental to main contract not a reciprocal promise now incidental means it is collateral or subordinate or secondary so the event is secondary event is collateral event is not primary it is subsidiary so the event is incidental to the main contract there is a main contract and there is a event which is collateral which is incidental which is subsidiary which is secondary to the main contract and not a reciprocal promise look a reciprocal promise forms a contract you know i promise something to you and you promise something to me forms a contract between us forms a agreement and this agreement becomes a contract but this event is not the promise that we do to each other it is something which is outside this contract which is outside this promise and this event is subsidiary it is collateral to the main promise that we make the reciprocal promises that we make so this is why we call it collateral or incidental because it does not form part of the main contract it is always incidental that is linked to the main promise or the contract so we are not talking about the promise here we are talking about the event and this event is linked to the main contract if this event was a promise it will become the contract itself it will now not remain as something which is linked or incidental to the main contract rather it will become the main contract itself so we can say that this event is only incidental or linked to the main contract and not a part of it it is something different the only thing is the main contract is based on this collateral or different event which is not a part of it next point is it is not based on the mere will of the promiser now this event should not be based on the mere will of the promiser we know that the promiser is the per person who performs the promise so let's say we enter into a contract 
I tell you, I'll sell this pen to you for rupees hundred. You say okay, but I say I'll sell this pen to you for rupees hundred if I bathe tomorrow. Now, the main contract is of selling this pen, but there is a condition attached to it. It is based on the event. What is the event of me bathing? Now, do you think? this is correct do you think this is logical no because the event that it is based on depends on my will if i you know if i want to sell it to you i'll wait tomorrow if i do not want to sell it to you i'll not wait tomorrow so rather why don't i tell you today itself that boss i do not want to sell it to you why am i framing it as if you know it is dependent on a condition which is me bathing or no so the law says you should not beat around the bush the event should not be based on the will of the promiser it should rather be an uncertain event the event should be future uncertain event plus it should be out of the control of either party it should not be in the hands of the parties to decide the event no party should have control over the event it should be a future uncertain event uncertain event means you do not know what the outcome would be but i know what the outcome would be if i am basing a contract on the condition of me bathing or no i know if i don't bathe tomorrow the contract does not become enforceable so it depends on my wish my will the law says this is not correct contingent contract should not be based on the will of either party it should be out of their control it should be something natural or something which is not in their control it should be uncertain you should not know the result beforehand so we say it should not depend on the mere will of the promiser